Hello, welcome to Horror of Spice, where everything's nice. I'm Horror of Spice. And I'm Mrs. Horror of Spice. And today, on uh, uh, Collection Infection, we're going to do the last of the Giallo White, uh, uh, White mm -hmm. Ascent, uh, Giallo Essentials White, and we're doing the Suspicious Death of a Miner, as well as Ginger Goat... Um, Tropic Star. I'll show those to you in a second. Hold on. Here's Suspicious Death of a Miner and Ginger Goat Tropic Star. This is our meal. Mrs. Horror Spice, what did you do with the hot sauce? Okay, what I did is in mine I put a quarter cup of, um, and of uh, mayo to about two teaspoons of hot sauce. In his, I put a half a cup of mayo and three tablespoons of hot sauce because I know he likes it hotter. Yeah. So, we're going to uh, eat our meal, have our ginger goat, and uh, watch our movie. Catch you in a minute. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. So, suspicious death of a miner. Well, here's the front and the back. Here's the disc. Oh, my. Original artwork. New commission for this box set. In the wake of the success of Dario Argento's groundbreaking Giallo, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, numerous other directors stepped forward to try their hand at these lurid murder mysteries. For the forefront was Sergio Martino's The Strange Vice of Miss Ward Torso, whose sensual 70s thrillers Starring Edwig Finch and George Hilton are widely celebrated as some of the best the genre has to offer. The final of Martino's Six Gialli, The Suspicious Death of a Miner, combines conventional giallo trappings with elements of the flourish Palizzo Tetschi, crime thrillers, Claudio Pisanelli, Where Have They Done to Your Daughter, stars as an undercover cop, Paolo Germi, on the trail of a Melanese crime outfit following the brutal murder of an underage prostitute. But the killer for hire is also on the prowl, bumping off witnesses before they have a chance to talk. Also starring Mal Ferrer, uh, Nightmare City, Barbara Magnolfoli, Suspiria, and Jeannie Tambun, uh, the psychic. And featuring a script of veteran giallo writer Ernesto Gastaldi. All the colors of the dark death walks at midnight. This unique and lesser known entry into Martino's uh, filmography serves as the essential link between two different movements in Italian popular cinema. Uh, here you go. Take a pause on it. Read it. For all the special features. There we go. All right, did you uh, read it all? I hope you did. <laughs> well, we decided to pair that with Ginger Goat, Tropic Star, Mango, 
lemongrass, and star anise hot sauce. Oh, it's got zero calories. This is a product of Ginger Goat Inc. It's got a four out of five uh, spice level to the company. Sweet and ripe mangoes play with the citrusy notes of lemongrass and the unique taste of star anise. The heat of for this sauce comes straight from the mad scientist himself, smoking Ed Curry. And the peach blend, some of his hottest and tastiest peppers. And that is true. Um, as you uh, learned earlier, Mrs. Horror Spice amped mine up in comparison to hers. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say that the flavor, uh, it, it was crazy. It, it, it was like a uh, uh, aioli because it was mixed and everything but it tasted almost like sour cream with flavoring on it like citrus flavoring on it mm -hmm. it it really was amazing i don't know how it did that but it it was great um suspicious mm -hmm. death of a minor i have to give three out of five stars it's a great mystery it's a great uh tribute to giallo but once again it's it was another boring movie of a whodunit. You know, I mean, uh, we watched a lot of whodunit recently. So, excuse me for, you know, not uh, being too thrilled about another whodunit. Uh, but uh, we're halfway through the giallo a -thon. I'm happy about that. And I'm happy to have experienced it this moment with you. Uh, the hot sauce, I would give a 5 out of 5 uh, on flavor, on heat, I would give it a 5 out of 5. Um, as far as heat goes, I don't recommend you taking this straight to the face unless you're an experienced uh, heat consumer. Uh, I do recommend you mixing it in. Uh, if you did like us, um, I highly recommend the 2 tablespoons to uh, half a cup, or was it half a cup? Yeah, I, uh, gave, I, yeah, I gave you two tablespoons and half a cup of mayo. Yeah. yeah. I highly recommend that, that formula. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be more spicier, but mm -hmm. the sour cream uh, effect mm -hmm. and taste that it brought um, made a unique hamburger and dipping sauce. And uh, I've never experienced it before, and I'd love to experience it again. So, five out of five stars for this uh, uh, Ginger Goat Tropic Star. Yeah, I would say it's a five out of five, five out of five. It blew my mind. I know I didn't put as much in, and I, and I kind of hindsight, I wish I would have put a little bit more in. But I just didn't know how this was going to hit. I mean, this is, we're getting up to the real spicy stuff that I normally can't handle. So, but the flavor just surprised the hell out of me of how well it blended with the burger and the spices that I normally put on the burger, which is like uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and some celery seed and some thyme. That's what I put on my burger recipe. And, and... It just blended so well and it just set it off so nicely. I would go out of my way to actually buy this again. Mm -hmm. This is this is almost like a must have. Now the special stuff of a minor, it was it was another who done it and it was kind of um it it was better than the last one but not as good as the first one. Evelyn, who came out of the grave, returned from the grave. So that one was, you know, bombastically better, but it wasn't as bad as last week. But I'd say it's a solid three. Not a solid three peppers, you know. You'll get some enjoyment out of it, 
but it's it's not going to be something that's going to knock your socks off. So you kind of see a lot of this coming. Yeah. So it's, it kind of kind of steals the show in a way. So that's why I didn't get any more peppers than three. Well, that's the end of Giallo Essentials White. Yeah. So. We put it away now. Yeah. Oh, away. upside down. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Now, if you've uh, stuck with us and felt the vibe, comment down below. Uh, goat, because we <laughs> had ginger goat hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. Um. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. And make sure your bell notification is set to always so you always get uh, our stuff. Um, the, this week there will not be a, uh, a uh, uh, sleazy uh, hump day. I'm sorry. Um, Unfortunately, uh, it will have to be postponed until Thursday. But uh, I still will get it out Thursday. And uh, we'll enjoy uh, a sleazy Thursday together. <laughs> yep. We'll see you then. So from Horror of Spice. And Mrs. Horror of Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye. Bye.